leads me to questions. Um, so on the right hand side, if you can't see where to type it in, you can hit that orange arrow and you can start entering questions. I'll try to answer those. We have a few more minutes. Um, and I'll answer the questions I can. Again, if I can't get to all the questions, you can also uh, email me, raywhite1 at verizon.net. Um, so here's a question that comes in almost every time I do a webinar, and that is, what if your boss won't let you do these things? And I, I think that's really important. Um, there's so many of these things you can do without your supervisor approval. For instance, you can get your team together and go out after work uh, for drinks or for you know, coffee or whatever, and you can sit down with them and you can come up with a, a team purpose. And even if your supervisor isn't as excited about it as you guys are, you guys can have your own team purpose and your own team measurements and, and figure out uh, what you want to do. Um, and so that's exercising autonomy, that's finding a purpose, that's building connection. Uh, so that's doing a lot of what you need to do. Um, okay. So examples of where we've given uh, bonuses to employees and, and, and asked for them to spend it. So, so again, there's multiple levels on this, right? We've done it as a, as a company. And you just say, hey, here's, um, you know, just go out and Take your uh, take your team out to dinner, or um, you know this is this is for a great job you've done, um, and we want you to share it with your team. How would you like to do that? And people come up with some really creative ideas, like take their team bowling. Um, let's see what are some of the other things they did. Um, go karts is, seems to be a big one. Just taking them out for beer seems to be big. Uh, for one guy, he wanted to take his wife out to dinner because he had. Uh, you know, he'd been working so hard and everything. So that was great. You know, take his wife out to do so That was great. Uh, the other thing is, if you don't have access to the expenses, you, you're not charged for that decision, um, a lot of our employees have just bought uh, $50 gift cards. They, they buy these Visa gift cards and give them to the employees and suggest that they uh, do something for uh, for their team. So that's, that's uh, been real popular. And um, we also match charity donations. And so for a lot of people, uh, it, when they do a really good job, we'll say, okay, pick your favorite charity. We'll match uh, up to $500 on that charity. So those are a couple ways we uh, we, share, we share the bonus concept. Um, what if you work with persons of different values and cultures? And I think that's that's really important. And, and that's one of the reasons you want to establish these connections. And one of the best things you can do, I, I, I was in an an office one day giving an office tour and I was able to show the person uh, that was touring uh, five different desks and those five people came from five different countries and they were all sitting next to each other and uh, different languages and everything. they all spoke English but they also all had their native languages and uh, you know it's important to go out to lunch with those people and ask them about their their culture and their values and get them to teach you about it and and get the employees interested in and learning about that and sharing. Uh, because once they do, they start to understand each other better. And, you know, they start to understand why one group is more quiet or one group has a different work ethic and that kind of thing. So getting those people together to talk about their culture uh, and their values is really important. Um, so how do we keep engagement and morale up when it's year in? There's increasing pressure to meet your numbers. And that's a really big one. Um, and that, that's coming up for all of us, right? Uh, it's the retail season. It's the end of the year. Um, and so the first thing we do is we give them a why. We give them a big, a big purpose. So not just the purpose of the company, uh, but the, the the purpose of why we need to get through year end and why we need to do such a such a good job. For instance, uh, for us, for our company, it's a big revenue time. Most of our revenue uh, comes in in the fourth quarter. So, um, and, and they have to work through things like Thanksgiving and Christmas. And so, you know, we want to motivate them and show them this is this is where your clients succeed. This is where you succeed. This is where the company succeeds. So showing them why we're doing it, what we're trying to accomplish. Also giving them lots of autonomy. So instead of saying everybody works on Thanksgiving, we let the teams decide who's going to work on Thanksgiving. How are they going to break it up? We also give them an autonomy to work from home. So instead of having to come into the office, um, they have uh, access outside of the office. Uh, so those kinds of things 
those kinds of autonomy uh, and purpose uh, help help a lot. And then we bring in pizza all the time, and we we I don't know if I should say this, but we bring in kegs of beer after after work, you know, after really stressful times. Um, so it's it's helping them get through those times, letting them know it's stressful times, letting them know we believe in them, and we really appreciate the work they're doing. So I'm I'm kind of running over time here. Uh, again, if I didn't get to your questions, there's quite a few of them. I'll try to uh, capture some of them and email you back or go ahead and email them to me and I'll respond to you. Um, I really appreciate your time. I really appreciate you guys participating. Uh, and again, if there's anything I can help you with, shoot me an email. Have a good week.